Exactly. The first fight of the night. This is Gary Hart up against Auckland Owen Matangi, who's fighting out of Sydney, Australia now after taking the New Zealand Pro title. Fighting out of the blue corner, he's 35, 107 kgs, 15 fights, 6 fights, and 2 draws. Out of the red corner, Auckland Owen Matangi, he's 46, 103 kgs, 16 fights, 12 wins, and 4 KOs. The referee for this fight again, Terry Hill. This is the third fight of the night. This is a big one. This is, in fact, a grudge match. It's a genuine grudge match, Neil. Look for a very fast start from Gary Hart. He's got a huge right hand. Four years ago, they fought, and Auckland was knocked out in the first. Oh, when Gary's getting very close to that right hand. Now, this, is the thing about the, uh, this is the thing about the heavyweights as well. They can pack a punch. And this is why the K1 is so exciting. I'm Neil Wacker here at the Logan Cattle Centre with Mike Ango, four-time New Zealand kickboxing champion, former world amateur champ. Just looking at these fighters. Actually, it's quite a surprise. I was expecting these fighters to come out very fast, but uh, they're just standing at range there, which actually favours Auckland a bit. He's a better technical fighter than Gary. Auckland really wanted to come back to New Zealand for this fight. He's already won the uh, New South Wales, I think, competition to make it into Oceania, but he wanted to come back and fight in front of his home crowd, and this really is a grudge match. Auckland has been wanting this fight for the past three years and finally he gets his opportunity. Gary Hart, one of the real old men of the sport, but oh, and a big high egg. For... Oh, and Gary actually and felt Auckland that. And sees it, oh. he smells it, he's coming in, he might have caught Gary. Following up, with a, following up with a vicious knee. The thing about Gary though is he can knock you out with that right hand at any stage in the fight. Auckland is a much more seasoned fighter since he fought Gary. But Gary is a veteran of the sport. Really is a, a, an old war horse. He's coming out for one last shot at the big all in that right hand. Out of the really blue corner is Gary Hart with the uh, black shorts and red stripe. And the, out of the red corner is Auckland Oe Matangi in the black shorts. Not much of a difference in height. Six foot two for Gary Hunt, six foot one for Auckland Oe Matangi. That's right. Gary looking sharper than I've seen him look for a long time. He's. Uh, He's a very, very quiet fighter. He doesn't often, he doesn't give away a lot, but clearly he's been training very hard for this fight. There's a real difference in the way these fighters come into the ring even. Gary is really oh. subdued, whereas Auckland, Auckland likes to put on a bit of a show and it looks great to watch. This really is a match where these two fighters know what the other's like. As with all the fights tonight, they are tough fights. There's no doubt about it. With these fights too going into the second and third round. It does have all oh, in the oh, left. He caught, caught, catching Gary there. He caught Gary, but Gary's still strong on his feet. He's fit. Gary, Gary's very durable up top. He's got a good chin. He's only ever been stopped once in his career. Oh, and a straight nice knee. Nice knee. straight knee. Hawking <laughs> <laughs> just playing him around a little bit. He's a good crowd pleaser, but he's also a great fighter. Definitely. Auckland, Auckland knows how to work a crowd. See, that's what he has to be careful of, that overhand right that Gary came down on and just glazed past Auckland. He's got to be careful of that because if Auckland gets caught with that square on the chin, Gary's going to put him down. He's just watching. He's just watching for the, the left jab and Gary's trying to come over the top with the right hand. And that's the end of round one in this third fight. Just looking here, Auckland catching him high with that switch leg kick. And coming in, looking to go to the body and throwing the knees. That's one thing that surprised me about this fight. Auckland's knee fighting really well. Here we start the round, start of round two. Out of the blue corner, Gary Hart. Out of the red corner, Auckland Noe Matangi. Is Gary carrying his right hand a little low? He's got to be careful of that. Auckland is a good left hook fighter. They size each other up, they know what the other's capable of, they're two very hard hitters. 
Alton knows what it's like to be caught with that uh, that right cross. He's been caught before and it put him down. He doesn't want to have that caught. He doesn't want to get caught again, but he's certainly a lot more experienced. He's had 16 fights now, one more than Gary. He's, he's actually fought very well in Oceania, knocking out Nathan Breach, who's one of Australia's top fighters in the first round. And also losing a very close fight uh, against Nielsen Tion, who's a former world am Oh, catching him with, the, left him with the right cross oh, and the knee to the head. head. Just a reminder that knees to the head are allowed in this fight. K1 rules, you are allowed to knee to the face. It's obvious that Auckland's hands have actually improved a heck of a lot since he's been in the camp of Alex Tuya. Yeah, that's right. Alex Tuya is a, is a former Australian boxing champ as well as a two-time world kickboxing champ. Auckland Tino fitting greatly for all. Oh, Auckland fighting strong right hand. down with the right. He's going to go, but he's strong, he's fit. Oh. I'm surprised that he's still on his feet. Oh. What a warrior. Oh, that was a big right hand. He's so strong to be able oh, to... Oh, he's going again. again. Auckland going to the body now, but... Oh, Gary's right coming back, back with a right hand. And I think that right hand, just out of the blue that Gary threw, just hurt Auckland the shade. He's taking a little time to take that rest. What a strong fella. He's 35 years of age when most fighters have already retired long from the sport. And he's still there, his legs aren't wobbling. He got caught, but he's straight back in, which means his fitness must be up, must be up to a fairly high standard. Both That's these right, fighters. looking very fit. He's actually bloodied the nose of Auckland down with tugging with that, that last right hand. When a lot of fighter, fighters are Good forward. straight right. Auckland just roughing him up a little bit on the inside, pulling his head down. What Gary has to be careful of is going down too low because Auckland will knee straight to the head. He's got to be careful of that. Taking the inside left. Oh, and he's catching him with the right hand. Gary just showing a little bit of fatigue now. That shot is going again. Right overhand cross, but still Gary standing. Gary hit to the body. My goodness, he's standing. Now he's down. Referee Terry Hill will give him the eight count. What a powerful, strong fighter. A fighter that you must give a lot of respect to. He just got caught through there. Body shot, then the knee to the head. And that's the fight over. Work. That's the end of it. Auckland Zoe Matangi in the second round takes the fight. He has a bit of claret on his nose, but Gary Hart, you can't take away from Gary Hart how powerful, how strong, and that what a warrior he is. But Auckland Owe Matangi now going through to the second round, to the semi-finals. Here we are to our fourth round.